what makes for the best avocado pollination conditions. Um, I think three things are most important. One is warm weather. So today the high was about 80 and um, you want the mean, the average, to be over 60, even over 65 for the best pollination conditions. So you don't want the nights too cold either. The second thing is lots of bees. They can be honeybees or other kinds of bees, but you want to have a look at your tree and you want to be able to see bees visiting the flowers. Especially, just to be more specific, you want to see the bees visiting the flowers while they're in their female phase because that's when the flowers can be pollinated, uh, at least in uh, Southern California inland conditions. The third thing is it's ideal to have multiple avocado varieties next to each other. Well, actually, it's ideal to have avocado varieties of different flower types next to each other. For example, over here is an Edinger, and uh, while the Edinger's flowers are male, this Pinkerton tree's flowers are female, and vice versa. So cross-pollination can easily happen, and you end up with a bunch of little fruitlets, a bunch of BBs, uh, and so you've got good, the best avocado pollination conditions, warm weather, lots of bees, and different varieties, especially A and B types that flower at the same time in proximity. There's nothing guaranteed, and it's not necessary to have all these things in order to get a decent crop, but to get the best crop, these three things can only help.